happy to be here. I'm from New York, and I'm single. And I know. Well, it's hard being single when you look like you're seven years old. <laughs> like, I talk to women, but they never take me serious. Because they always think I'm just some black kid trying to sell candy for his basketball team. <laughs> like, I'm woke. I try not to be too woke. And if you're older here and you don't know what woke means, it basically means you see the glass is half empty or half full of water, and I see it as Flint still doesn't have clean water. <laughs> That's it. What's up? Like, I'm conscious. I help my boys with toxic masculinity. I got one of those homies that's like, yeah, I'm a man. I'm a man. Look, all you have to do is be a good person. <laughs> that's all you have to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was his birthday. I got him a cake. I was like, yo, happy birthday. But he was like, I... he's such a man. He was like, why you give me this cake? You think I like cakes or something? But I saw the twinkle in his eye. <laughs> The twinkle in his eye was like, thank you so much. <laughs> Y'all really love me. <laughs> How you print my picture on this cake? How you do that? It's like, just cry. It's, fellas, you have to cry. If you don't cry, you gonna kill somebody. <laughs> like, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm the only heterosexual black man who has gay friends. I'm trying to get my boys to bro in horizon, because, like, gay people are dope. I'll tell you one thing, they have a better time on Instagram. <laughs> My gay friends, they was on Instagram, they went pumpkin picking. <laughs> I wanna go. <laughs> but I can't get my straight friends to go pumpkin picking. <laughs> Yo, Trey, let's go pumpkin picking. There's gonna be any girls there. Why does that have to be the objective? <laughs> let's just go. We look at some orange shades, we take some selfies, get our likes up, that's it! <laughs> ain't no girls, I ain't going. Oh, that's your only premise? That's toxic masculine's premise. Get girls, get drunk. Get girls, get drunk. You know, one time my boy's like, yo, let's go to an Usher concert. I'm like, why? We don't like Usher. <laughs> He's like, nah, but there's gonna be mad girls there. Yeah, but they there for Usher. They not there for us. <laughs> what type of logic is that? Hey, girl, you can't get him, but look at me. Mm. <laughs> Like, I'm conscious on hip-hop, like, I love hip-hop, but we all know sometimes it's misogynistic, and I think it's because of the male ego. Like, I don't like when rappers like, yo, I stole your girl. No, you didn't. <laughs> I was whack, and she went to you. <laughs> Stop acting like she didn't walk over there. She has legs. It takes away a woman's choice. Like, if you stole my girl, that's kidnapping. That's a whole other song. That's a whole other track. I gotta listen to the song for the ransom. Got your girl in the club, 50 grand. Jalissa, are you out there? Please hit me back on the gram. I don't know where you went. Oh, I don't know which Migos took her. Look, I'm not political, but I do worry about this country's uprise of white supremacy. And as a black man, I'm not even angry. I'm just exhausted. I'm like, what do they want? <laughs> What do they want? <laughs> like, you lost a long time ago. <laughs> Just let diversity in. Just let love and diversity in, because I'm not going back. <laughs> I have too many sneakers. I'm not going back. <laughs> you know how much shipping would cost? <laughs> I put all my sneakers on the cargo ship to Africa, then they get lost at sea. Now I'm in Africa with loafers. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm wearing my Yeezys here. Look, and I don't hate them because they want that divide between us. We all the same. They want that divide. No, look, I know... Look, this country's built on 500 years of oppression. We built this country's wealth for free, slavery. But I don't walk around freaking white supremacists, freaking white people. No, I just don't believe in paying back student loans. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's my reparations. Every time they hit me up, I just put a cotton ball in the envelope, send it right to them. <laughs> Did you get my payment? Because I got more cotton. Keep calling me from a number I don't recognize, I'll send more cotton. Once I figure out a Venmo cotton, it's a wreck. 